we have spent about over a thousand days together, not not just seeing each other for like a couple hours, but all day. What's memorable is when I'm not with her. And that's when I can really think uh, of all the things that I miss about her and how much I just love her. I'm impressed with her. And uh, I have someone right away when I met her that I'd want to spend the rest of my life with her. We live in a very small community, although it's in different cities, but there's a lot of networking events. So throughout the years, we would see each other here and there. We've known each other for about 2012. Uh, we'd see each other at community events here and there around the valley. There was actually this one event where I was actually the elected city clerk of San Gabriel. And Jonathan, at the time, he was the elected city clerk of El Monte. And so when they introduced us at the events, I think that's when we first met was on stage. I knew she was a city clerk for San Gabriel, and so was I. So I was naturally inclined to talk to her and talk about city stuff and city clerk stuff. The one that actually captured me the most. I showed up to this uh, women Latina event and I was in crutches. I was just bitten by a tiger. When I saw her, she was on crutches and I had a lot of questions. So I was pretty much stuck with her the whole night at this event and just grilling her because I thought it was gnarly that she got bit by a tiger and she showed up to an event in crutches. I thought that was just awesome. And that night, he actually stuck by me the whole night. He was such a gentleman. He got me drinks. He even walked me to the car at the end of the night. She told me she was in Mexico, you know, uh, vacationing and did a tour somewhere at a zoo. And yeah, she got bit by a tiger. So after that, we, we never really kept in touch uh, or anything, but we would randomly see each other uh, at events. And then fast forward a few years, uh, when the pandemic started happening, everyone was on shutdown. I started posting more things on Facebook. He started commenting more things on Facebook. Facebook comments turned into like Facebook Messenger. And one night, it was already midnight, and he tells me, hey, can I get an insurance quote from you? And I was like, it's midnight. <laughs> so I ended up talking to her one night, like at 1 a.m. till for like four or five hours, just about a lot of things, uh, nothing to do with insurance. I was actually nervous to talk to him on the phone. After that, we started communicating more and just went from there. And from there, we actually went on a first date and the rest is history. My first impression of Julie was, obviously she got bitten by a tiger, so I thought she's brave and, and adventurous. She's very much a go-getter. If you know me by now, you actually know that I have a lot of crazy ideas. One crazy idea I had was, hey, let's open a convenience store in the middle of the worst economic disaster that we have, and we did. We, uh, we opened a convenience store in Almani during the pandemic. But I just love the fact that he would go along with any crazy idea I have. And he's super supportive in anything that I want to do. Jonathan, he's a, he's a really funny guy. You know, I could be so mad at him and he could just say something really funny and all that anger would dissipate. I'm always finding out new things she is, making me be better. It's always encouraging me. Three words that I would use to describe Jonathan is funny, but more like you're laughing at him, not with him. Crazy. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> and loyal.